Hello YouTube, I'm making this video to help anyone who's been having screen tearing issues with their NVIDIA GPUs solve this issue. Now, I personally have an, um, a Lenovo IdeaPad Y510P laptop with dual GT750M graphics cards, and I have been experiencing a lot of screen tearing issues, so let's get down to it. Now, this is what I'm referring to when I say screen tearing. There's actually quite a bit of it right, right now. I don't think you can really see it. Uh, perhaps you can, but it looks very stuttery and jagged, and I'm actually getting very good frame rates right now, but the screen tearing is making it pretty much unplayable, especially when I go like that. It's pretty bad. So there's a pretty simple solution to fixing this issue, and that solution is as simple as going into something called NVIDIA Control Panel. So you just go to your normal control panel, go to Hardware and Sound, and click on NVIDIA Control Panel at the bottom. Now, on the side, you go to Manage 3D Settings. You should see this little um, list here. Scroll to the very bottom, go to Vertical Sync, select that setting, and turn it to Adaptive. And what that does is it turns on Adaptive Vertical Sync, which essentially only turns the Vertical Sync on when you need it, instead of having it on all the time, um, as what would happen if you turned Vertical Sync on in a game because Vertical Sync does tend to make screen tearing um, of this type that I get much, much worse. Now, with Skyrim, Skyrim has a built-in Vertical Sync system into it that actually enables Vertical Sync, it seems, in the menu. So it, um, it does seem very bad right now, but however, turning on Adaptive Vertical Sync through the NVIDIA Control Panel does, in fact, solve the issues in-game and for every other game that I've tried using the solution for. Okay, so as you can see, the screen tearing is completely gone. I have absolutely no more screen tearing, and it's great, because I can finally enjoy my games without having jagged edges going all up and down the screen. Now, if for whatever reason that doesn't work for you, there are in fact other solutions you can use to solve this problem. If it didn't work for you, just turn Vertical Sync off or Adaptive Vertical Sync, and this solution works for all source games, it doesn't work for anything other than source games, it only works if you have Steam installed. And if you're running your games through Steam. Because if you launch your games outside of Steam, this won't work. And again, it only applies to source games. Okay, so what you do is you go to any source game you have installed, such as Gary's Mod, let's say. Right click on it in Steam and go to Properties. Go to Set Launch Options and type that into the um, launch parameters. And that will actually tell the game to run it in borderless mode. Window. It looks the same. It won't. It won't run it in a window or anything with the, uh, you know, with a little water on the side or anything. It'll look the same, but it'll get rid of screen tearing. That's one solution that does in fact work, although it increases input lag by a little bit or the uh, display lag rather. So you will notice a little bit more of an input lag between your mouse and keyboard and the display. But that is a second solution that works for source games only. Again, in case adaptive vertical sync does not work for you for whatever reason. So, hopefully this video has been pretty informative. If you have any questions, feel free to post a comment, whatever. Um, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.